What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, let's just get down there, hit the subscribe button, we'll get that out of the way right now. Straight into today's video, we're tuning the truck. We are gonna be doing a 40 horsepower tune. The tune we're throwing on the truck is a 40 horsepower tune. And we are gonna be using the PowerGate 3 Plus. Everything just came in the mail, I'm gonna get it plugged into the computer and we can start this process. So we're gonna do an unboxing here, so uh, to see what comes with it. Cut the tape. Boom. Oh yeah. Can't even get it out. Uh oh, camera fell open. What else do we got? Your OBD. Your OBD2 port. It's a USB. You have your USB to connect to the... Alright. So what comes in the package? So what comes in the package here is your programmer the OBD2 port plug and a USB so you can connect it to your computer. Get that out of the way. First step on the instructions here. I've never done this before, so this is just a disclaimer. I am following the instructions that the, the gentleman sent me on the email. It says to take your programmer and connect it to your computer. And then it says to launch the program that they supplied for me. So we're going to launch that. There we go. Let's see if we can keep that up on the screen there. So, what the programmer is doing is just searching for updates. Once everything is updated, I'll uh, catch up with you guys here and we'll move on to the next step. When everything updates, it says there's no current information. Please connect to vehicle and uh, download stock ECU information. So what the next step is, is we're going to take this out to the truck, plug it in and take all the information from the stock ECU and bring it back to the computer. We're going to take our programmer here, take this. Plug it in down here, like that. System is loading, please wait. Okay, the next step here is to press tuning that work? Yep. Okay. Now it asks for the make and model of the vehicle. A lot of options here. So we're going to click Dodge. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to Ram 1500. Once you hit next, I had trouble pushing this uh, next button here. It wasn't working for me. As you guys know, I drive the three liter eco diesel. And there's now two options. According to the instructions the guy sent me, the first one is for the transmission tune, and the second one is for the engine tune. So we want to make sure that we hit the second one, like that, and it shows the computer number there. So now that we press the second one, there we go. Press next. Start to read. Reading ECU. Please wait. Key on and confirm. Key on. Pretty quick. Reading completed. Switch off ignition and disconnect the power gate three. So what we'll do is pull the key. We'll press OK. Pull that out. 
Boom. All right, now we've plugged it back into the computer. Once the read finished, connect the smart tuner back to your computer or laptop and download the read file into your computer or laptop. It must be a .usr file. You want to download the stock ECM file to your computer and now I have to email it off. They're going to tune it for me and send it back. Once they send it back, we'll continue the video. Be back shortly. It took about three hours to get the tune back once I sent the stock uh, reading from my truck. So now we're going to upload the tune to the programmer and we're going to go back out to the truck, plug it in and get everything ready to go. So we've gone through stage one. Press stage one. Okay. Hit next. It says it's in progress. Writing in progress. Stage one. Just writing the tune to the truck. Uh, I've had error codes on the dash saying that things are currently unavailable and that there's no ECU in memory at all until this is finished. So I'm going to keep you guys updated here with what happens if anything comes on the dash and once we're ready to start the truck. We're probably going to have to go take it for a drive, so we'll do the first reactions of how the truck drives with the new tune. It says complete. Alright, so the stage one completed. I've disconnected the programmer. I'm just going to run in, make sure I got my wallet and everything like that. We'll fire this thing up and take it for a first test drive. Okay, so it is the next day. I decided that uh, not to do the test drive film at night. Couldn't really see what was going on, so I waited. Um, I've driven just about 300 kilometers, and I had three quarters of a tank when I started, and I've only used the quarter tank, and I've gone about 300 kilometers. What does this say? Lyometer. The lyometer says 8.6 liters per hundred. While on the highway with cruise control, set at about 110. I had it down to 8.4 liters per hundred. Uh, due to incline, I'm thinking maybe why I didn't go any lower than that. Um, once this tank is once this tank is used up, I'm going to do the manual calculation to see how accurate the lyometer is. What we're going to do is from a dead stop. We're going to do a zero to sixty. Now, before with this truck, with that AEM or yeah, AEM or the AME or whatever flash they did for the recall. If you guys have it on your Rico Diesel, you know that when you hit the gas, it doesn't go anywhere. So from a dead stop, we're going to do a 0 to 60 pull. So you can see that it's a lot more responsive on the gas. Uh, the 0 to 60 with the 40 horsepower is surprisingly different. <laughs> There's no more pedal lag, the turbo kicks right in and it holds the power, um, not just low end. So, so far I'm really enjoying it, thinking about getting a pedal commander for it. So pedal commander mixed with the 40 horsepower. 0 to 60 might be a little different. It's already crazy enough with how it's set at right now. So after driving this for a month with this tune, I'll do a one month total review. Um, we'll have numbers. We'll have numbers regarding fuel mileage and if it actually makes a difference in miles per gallon, liters per hundred. Once we have all those numbers, we'll calculate them over the month see the difference. We'll do a one month review of the, the tune itself. If you guys are interested in this tune, I'll put the link for the Instagram and the Facebook for EcoDiesel Owners Canada. Check them out. They're really quick to respond to any questions you have. They make the decision process painless. Hope you enjoyed the tune video. It's pretty easy to do it yourself. You don't have to send your ECU away. You just get everything sent to you. Do it all over email. If you have any questions about the tune, put them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I post another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.